From food to energy to health, water is essential to life on Earth. The world continues to take water for granted, but with our ever-changing climate, the security of our water resources is under serious threat. Droughts, floods and rising sea levels all have a dramatic effect on a reliable supply of water for development. Many emerging economies are plagued by disease, famine and natural disasters. When combined with poor water infrastructure, these countries become especially vulnerable to water stress. In Africa, for example, between 350 and 600 million people could be badly affected if we don't act now. Water management has to move to the top of the development agenda to guide developing nations against the impacts of climate change. This is where the African Minister's Council on Water comes in, together with their partner, the Global Water Partnership. In July 2008, the African Union heads of state and governments adopted the Sham El Sheikh Declaration, where countries committed themselves to work together to make the continent more water secure and resilient to drought, floods, and climate change. In November 2010, at the Third Africa Water Week, the extraordinary session of the African Minister's Council on Water adopted a decision recommending that the Global Water Partnership and partners implement the Water Climate and Development Programme for Africa. The goal of the programme is to promote water as a key part of sustainable regional and national development and contribute to climate change adaptation for economic growth and human security. Initially targeting eight countries and five river basins, the project will make water a key part of the African Sustainable Development Agenda. The objectives are to support countries in the integration of water security and climate resilience in development planning processes, the developing of partnerships and the capacity of institutions and stakeholders to build resilience to climate change through better water management, the development of financing and investment strategies for water security and climate change adaptation. In May 2012, 33 African water ministers and their representatives attended the launch of a framework for water security and climate resilient development. The conference showed that an investment in water is an investment in a nation's development. And the most effective water investments are those that are part of national development plans. Finance and investment strategies are already being developed with a wide range of stakeholders, as well as community initiatives centered around water issues. Managing water for climate resilience contributes to peace, poverty reduction, economic development and Pan-African integration. From now through 2016, the Water and Climate Programme will need continued support from donors, governments and decision makers to ensure that Africa is resilient to climate change and water scarcity. This is only the start of the journey. For more information, visit gwp.org forward slash workdep and amcow-online.org